Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, with a plan. That's cool. Man ain't got no problem with man living at home yeah, with a plan. But the certain man, they ain't got a plan. So you'll see the, the, the topic of today, and this ain't gonna be a long live stream with it, yeah. Serious, seriously, you know, I know I always say that all the time with it, yeah. It, it ain't gonna be a long live stream with it. But um I noticed, so I was I was thinking about this to myself, and then I went and spoke to one of my brethren, went to his yard, innit? And on my estate, like I said before, um, most of the people, 90% of the people that live on my estate were the first. It was a new build estate. We used to all live in these big tower blocks in Edmonton and they licked them down and distributed us around various parts of Edmonton. And the three locations in Edmonton that they distributed us, uh, they all look the same. But my estate's the smallest. The other estates are quite big, a lot bigger than my estate. Anyway, everyone, 90% of people that live on my estate have been there from day one when the, the flats, was, the houses were built in 2001. Bar the odd one or two man and gal that have moved in here and there. But 90% of us have, have moved, uh, have lived there since 2001. So we're the first. And for some reason, more, uh, there's a lot of people who are my age. When I say my age, I mean plus or minus a year, you know. And maybe some people that's like two, three years older than me and two, three years younger than me. There's a lot of young people Obviously, we're getting older now, and it we're all like minimum 25, maximum 34. But at one point, my estate, we had tons of young people, and I don't know why. And I was saying to my brother, you know what? Yeah? I was literally going through it, and I was talking to my mum about this as well. Most of the people that are my age group, like I said, plus or minus two years, and that are still living at home. The only ones that have moved out are the ones that are having use, you know. So like it, maybe a gal on my road or a gal on that road or a guy on that road have moved away just because they got used. Majority of the people then that's my age group that grew up on the state still live there now. On my road, all right, I've moved out because obviously I bought my own place and my little sister needed a room. But I'm telling you right now, if my little sister didn't need a, uh, need a room, I'd still be there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way I complain about this area, I know I would be down there. There's not enough here for me. But I've moved out. Obviously, I was able to do it on my own and that. But literally, if I go down my road, I'm saying I say no one's name and that, but there's a youth that lives two, three doors down from me or my mum's yard. He still lives at home. He's nearly 30. He's going to be 30 at the end of this month or next month. Couple girl that, that live, yeah, there's a girl that lives next to him. She's also 30, if not going to be 30 soon. She's got a youth. She's still living at home. So she's got a youth and she's still living at home. Her neighbour, there's a few girls that live in that yard, some local Indians and that, or Pakistani girls. They're all still living at home. Like the oldest is like 30, 31. Then like I said, there was a, a girl that did have a youth that was living at home. She's moved away. It's only because she's got a youth. Bare people on my street, even some of the man them on my estate, they all still living at home. We're all pretty much, apart from me and the odd one or two because of different circumstances, we're all still living at home. And I was saying to my mum, do you know what? It's coming like it's the new wave, you know, 30, being 30 years old and still living at home. It's not a good thing, though, you know, unless you've got a plan. If you're watching this right now, if you've got a plan to save your money and move out and that, that's corny. Cool, but if you just, yeah, I'm here. Damn, that ain't good, blood. That ain't good. Back in the day, when you were 16, 17, 18 years old, bam, you was out. You was out. You was out. I think one of my brethren said, um, you know, like the lions in the lions prize, the teenage males that when they start coming up and they start getting bigger, they get kicked out of the pride. And it's literally like that. Literally. And I know why. If that is true, what my friend said about the lions that are growing up and then the teenagers and they get kicked out of pride, because what ends up happening is the teenagers start to try and test the parents and the adults in the yard. We've all done it. We've all done it. We've all done it. We've all given our mums that bit of back chat that we shouldn't have given them. Or, you get me, we might have a dad or a stepdad and that. And now, oh, we got one, two little pubic hair. We think we can step to him and that. This is, this is what happens when you have teenagers. Us lot right now, when we have children and that, and they're coming up and they're a teenager, they will try and step to us. Now, some people might get knocked out here, but they will try and step to us. My son, when I have a son, when he's 50 years old, one day he will probably think he can step to me and he's gonna find out what I've got in a minute. But literally.
literally, literally. Um, yeah, they have to get kicked out and that because um, they were, more than likely they're going to probably try and, I think my friend said they, they will try and make with the other females and that. So basically, they will try and take on the role of, um, yeah, the adult lions and that. But yeah, literally, there's a lot of people on my estate that are still living at home. 30, 34, 35 years old, still living at home. It's all, it's all well and good when you got a plan, but a certain man, they ain't got a plan. A certain girl, they ain't got a plan. With the girls, I don't mind when I hear a woman that's still living at home at the age of 30 and that, because I don't believe women should live on their own. I feel like women are vulnerable and they should be living with family until they meet a man that's going to take them out of their yard and that, and then get me filled up X, Y, Z elsewhere, innit? But, um... Yeah, I don't think women should um, be living on their own, though, man. But yeah, that's it, man, really. Um, yeah, like, even my mum, my mum said, yeah, she moved out when she was 16, 17. My stepdad, I think he moved out 16, 17 as well. My mum's generation, my mum's, like, my mum's 50, same with my stepdad and that. They're, that kind of generation and that, a lot of them, they were out of the house by 16, 17, 18 years old. Furthermore, they probably would have laughed at people that are still 30 years old, still living at mum and dad's house. And it is kind of embarrassing, though. Like, you lot might be watching this right now, yeah? Certain man might be 25, certain man might be 30, whatever it is. And you just think, yeah, it's cool. It's normal to still be living at home. But trust me, I go to work in tenants' houses and that. And obviously, I'm an electrical tester, so I go into people's houses. I go into a man's rooms. And it just looks odd. It looks like an overgrown child in their parents' house. I'll go in a big in a big boy's yard. A man might be 25, 30 years old, but you're a big man them ages there. And I'll still see a man just there chilling on his bed and that. Now he might be working and that, but it just looks odd that such a big male or big adult is still in his mum's yard in a little box room. Trust me, if you see it from my perspective and, and I ain't trying to sit on my high horse on a pedestal and like look down on people because, oh, I live on my own now, but looking at it from an outsider when you go into people's houses and that you see this big guy who's like six foot three 20 stone still living at his mom's house and he's for yourself now nah, this ain't right it don't look right it don't look right like what are you a security guard why are you still here fam? you should have your own thing your own something even if it's a little flat it don't look right don't look right now there's certain times where there's certain tenants i'll go to their house and the main tenant, which is the mum, she's all 50-something and that. And the son's back home temporarily. Guess why? Because he's been kicked out by his uh, by his girlfriend. And that. That's why I say, don't, don't move him with a girl. Don't move him with a girl. I went to one tenant's house the other day. Big woman, 50, 56 years old, whatever. You know, like, um, you have, like, a, a little side extension. It's basically a utility room. Yeah? You know, like, you can see all the bricks and that. It's a utility room. The sun is sleeping in there. So anyway, boom. I said to the woman, where's, where, where's the fuse box? You know, the electric box where you turn off all the power and that. She said, it's in my son's room. Now, bearing in mind, she's leaning on the um, banister of the stairs, isn't it? And she just, she's just pointing. She's like, she's got her hand on her head like that. And she's like, oh, it's in my son's room. So I thought she was pointing it up. I'm like, why is it upstairs? She's like, nah, it's in my son's room over there. I was like, oh, your son's room's down here, isn't it? Basically, what happened was, he got kicked out of his um, of his yard where he was living with his missus and his youth, and now he has to sleep in a utility room. There is a, I don't even know why it's a utility room. There's no sockets in there. They had to drill a hole through the wall and put an extension lead in there so he's got power for his PC so he can play his video games and all that things there. This is what happens when you move with a girl. You're in a position where you have to behave yourself, and if you don't, you get kicked out of your yard. And then... When you're, okay, you, you've left your girl's yard because she gave you an ultimatum or she kicked you out and that. And yeah, you're showing her that you've got the ability to live on your own or you don't need her and that. But that's all short-lived and that. And that ain't, that ain't really real because really and truly, if you get kicked out of your girl's yard, you're getting kicked out of your comfort zone. You're getting kicked out of somewhere where you really want to be. Whilst you're there and you're showing her that you've got the strength to, okay, cool, you can kick me out, I'll go elsewhere and that. Really and truly, you're sitting there and you're just hoping and waiting and praying for her to take you back. And then when you go back home to your comfort zone, then you're going to be on eggshells. And 
because she could easily say, well, boy, now that you're back, you're going to do what I say, innit? This is where men lose all their power and get emasculated and that by women, fam. If you're on your own yard and that, whether, whether you're renting or whatever, innit? You got your own space, gal can't tell you nothing. Fam. Gal can't tell you nothing, fam. And that's the way it's supposed to be, fam. Man want to talk about high value male, alpha male, this bullshit. But you ain't none of those, fam, until you got your own space, fam. You ain't none of those who living under no girl's roof. The only woman's roof you should live under is your mother's roof. Yeah, I'll gladly go and stay at my mum's yard and I live at my mum's yard if I had to. Because my mum is the woman that birthed me, born me, gave birth to me and that. I don't mind, you get me, had my mum having a little bit of power over me. But no other person in this world can be having no power over me. Unless they're paying me. And even then, my boss needs to speak to me with respect. You understand what I'm trying to say? Innit? Trust me, don't move in no Ross Club, yeah. It's the thing, man, need to remember as well. Like, certain man, they might be from, like, let's say, Edmund, and then they go and move to their girl's yard in. Um, I don't know, somewhere quay away like Reading. And they find a job that's just 30 minutes away from their house in Reading. So that's all well and good. That's cool that they're living in Reading and they're working 30 minutes commute from Reading. But what happens when you get kicked out of that girl's yard that lives in Reading? That 30 minute commute turns into an hour and a half. Because you're at your mum's yard in Edmund, for example, or wherever you live. That, that commute turns into an hour and a half. That's a major inconvenience for you. So what happens is certain man, they just put out the white flag and they surrender. They don't even, you know, I, I ain't in a position to be getting kicked out. And that. So then they're under the thumb, like, lose all their ass club power. And if you know anything about women that have got power, they are tyrants. They are tyrants, bro. Ross Clark, dog. Trust me, Gabby, you know, ain't no girl gonna love you the way your mom love you. And never move me with a chair. But you know what, yeah? Um, William, you say that, yeah? Why would you allow someone to give you leverage and that? And I'll say that as well. But you know what? Certain men, they just don't understand this thing, fam. It's like maybe they're inexperienced or they're in a vulnerable position. I don't know, innit? But there's certain men, they just don't see it the way that we see it. Certain men are just, I don't know, inexperienced, uneducated. I don't know what. But certain men, yeah, man, they don't see it the way we see it, man. They don't, they don't understand the, 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 the female nature thing. And I ain't saying, oh, man, some, yeah, me. But... I'm red pill, red pill, whatever in it. But man, I understand the thing. I understand. Boy, you go to move in with a woman, yeah, fam. You better, fam, it's long, blah. It's long. Man for have power in it, yeah, period. End of story. <laughs>